the trap as we are about back back lit is we out of here out of here any man battle rap trap and we definitely got the streets D out again D out of here man put it on you no nah, telling that man to stay on mute is insane where we ain't at what do you say? Hey, she probably, school? she it's probably some real oh, shit. Hey, no, 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 hey, hold on, hey, hold on, hey, hold on, skill. Hey, stay here, stay hey, here, hey, stay hey, here. Hey, 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 hold on. Right I'm not even. Talking. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck about what that. Nah, I just want to see it if he's scared. Still see it. Hey, hold on, still about, man. You still owe that man fifty dollars. Hey, nigga, hey, go make a clip, nigga. Go make a clip, bro. He about to see you out of here, bro. Yeah, hold on. Hey, uh, nonchalant and reek, y'all better be glad y'all didn't pull me up in that last space. I just want. What? I just want. I just want to come ahead and let y'all. Yeah, wow. y'all better be glad y'all didn't pull me up in that last space. Cause what you was gonna, what you gonna say? What you was gonna all say? Of the, all of this shit, police. Y'all niggas starting a space with this it's shit going on. Police. Lord, and it's all in here shit, and, and and threatened where my child lay her head. We got a whole problem. I don't know who the fuck battle rap think I am, but y'all can keep playing with me if you want to. These battle rap niggas Great. don't know me. They don't know my body, and we're not going to play like this. Like I said, I talked to Jimbo. Ain't nobody lying on this nigga at all. What happened is what happened. Luke just sat up here and said this nigga didn't have no fucking gun. How it get to the fucking internet, them niggas brought it to the internet. This was some shit that was in a group chat. Y'all love trying to run out here and shit on fucking wing. This ain't on me. Nobody had his back. How many of you niggas saw my ass stand right there in the middle of, the, uh, of Loot and Mars? The rest of the Philly crew was behind Zay. I didn't see no bricks. I stood my ass right there in front of them niggas to where if anybody tried to hit Zay, they had to hit me first. Mika's on the side of me. Fucking women. Letting them know this shit ain't going down. They was respectful enough to say, nah, wing, that ain't what we trying to do. That's not what we trying to do. We can talk this out. Y'all not Mr. Jump Zay. I see how these niggas is moving. They getting in position surrounding him. And I'm trying to make sure this nigga is good. But I'm in the wrong. Yeah, y'all not y'all not to keep playing with me. Y'all not supposed to keep playing with me at all. Fuck this shit. Like I said, I don't need this shit. Y'all niggas do. Niggas is sitting up here on a high right now. I give a fuck about somebody talking about a venue and all this other shit. They got two niggas winning. And these motherfuckers out here crashing out. Buying some shit, but some shit that didn't happen. And as I ask. If that is what the fuck happened, why nobody told the other staff that was in the building? Let me run it back. I'm in the car because anybody that knows me knows that I have seafood allergies so severe that I can't smell it. Fish is what I cannot smell. They was cooking catfish. I was sitting back by where you walk in. I go to the bathroom and a cloud of smoke hits my ass. I, before that, I had asked Power, can y'all open the little garage door thing? Because I cannot breathe. I thought it was just the weed smoke. For those who don't know, I do not smoke weed. So I had them open the door. I couldn't breathe then. I thought it was because everybody around me that's smoking. I did not find out until after I sat back there, went to go to the bathroom, and got bamboozled with some fucking smoke. I immediately say, I got to get up out of here. They are cooking catfish in the back, and I did not know that shit. Now I know why I can't breathe. I go outside. Stiz knew, Luke knew, all the niggas that came over, uh, they even knew. So if this, like my whole things with all these niggas that got issues. Y'all motherfuckers love the fucking drama. Ask these niggas why they really fucking mad. Because we ain't doing shit to these niggas for real. Ain't nobody got no ploy on nothing talking about street shit. This wasn't no fucking street shit. I ain't gonna say niggas press these niggas, but when niggas was on some, oh, uh, this ain't going down, that ain't going down, niggas was real nice about it. They were respectful is what I would say. Why would Zay, if, if, like I asked Zay, why the fuck would you walk off with these niggas to go talk about anything if you feel threatened? Mm -hmm. Who the fuck does that? Who 
does that? Right then and there. You should have said again, Wayne, this the nigga who tried to pull the gun out on me. I ain't going nowhere with this nigga. And we would have been done. We would have been done. Supposedly, all people's people saw a gun. Now, all of a sudden, I'm hearing in another fucking space, oh, that's not the problem. It's the problem because Wayne didn't do shit. What am I doing when it ain't no fucking gun? The fuck niggas is on. Dislike me all you fucking want. I don't give a damn. But you're not fit to play with my name. We're not even fit to do that. And let me say this. If a gun did get in the building, it was after the scuffle and that was on cam for everybody to see. Did the people who saw the pay-per-view, did y'all see a gun? Just asking. Anywho, they go over to the scuffle. There's nobody outside. Niggas ran out the building and back in the building. So if there were guns, nobody alerted anybody, and my ass is sitting outside. Everybody is told to come out because of what happened. When I talked to Zay, like I said, it was not a demeanor of some, and Mika, my other staff member, is standing right there. EJ, who got his gun in the car, is right there. We ain't feeling no pain. Y'all don't know what we talking about this street shit, but I'm good everywhere I fucking go. Y'all online can claim what you want to, but I'm in your city all the time. And y'all know about it. So don't play no games. We ain't gonna lie for the internet. I don't have to brandish around who the fuck I know and what, how we get down. But no fucking battle rap cred. Like I said, my peoples, we know we good everywhere we go. EJ is by his. We're comfortable. We don't see nobody's posture like anything else is going on. Whoever was on anything else outside of battle rap, what are we supposed to do about it? As far as we know, these niggas is rapping. But what we're not going to do is use Wayne for your scapegoat. Fuck out of here. We're not. So we can play this dumb shit with the bricks or they can have his back. I don't give a fuck. But what we not fit to do is sit here and act like we is the, the bearer of all this bullshit. When y'all should have told niggas what the fuck was going on. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that's how that should have went. The person that they said so supposedly was in this scuffle. To make sure the gun didn't come out. Because nobody actually saw a gun. To make sure the gun was not upped on a nigga. Said that that didn't happen. He said that he grabbed the nigga's arm. So that him and his brother. Meaning Luke and Mars. Would not go at Zay. I said. Well hold on. Because I'm being told. That your ass was actually trying to keep him from pulling out the gun. He said, nah, boss, like, that's not how that went. I don't know what anybody else thought they saw, but that ain't how that went. I grabbed that man's arm because I was like, oh, we've been talking shit all night to each other. Why are we getting to this shit? And, and now it's a whole other situation. That's all that was. It was never nobody trying to pull no gun out on nobody. Lute has said and Mars has said there was no gun in the building. Niggas drive everywhere. If you dumb to think that niggas don't drive for a particular reason, y'all crazy. Because they all do. We ain't dumb for that at all. About that shit at all. So to say that there were guns around, I don't know. But we not going to be dumb about it either. But they're saying they they're saying that they didn't have guns in that building. Don't lie on their names. So whatever this shit is, I really don't know. I know other behind the scenes shit that's supposed to be the issue. I go into our group chat. I see a very fucked up message when I was actually coming in there to let niggas know, hey, what we talked about on Sunday. Listen, this is about what this is what it is about. Well, not for nothing. Some of the shit that they already felt, we was already doing. 
But some of the other shit with two particular people, I was like, look, that's what we about to do. But I can tell y'all, we will be going back to Atlanta. So, anywho, after we finish this little tour, because we still are, we still about our business. I'm still making moves for those that uh that deserve them. But let me get this other part straight. Motherfuckers seem ARP has always said niggas are as loyal as to their options. When niggas stocks start dropping and whatever else, niggas get mad at me because I'm giving the word on shit. Niggas always want to have gripes about what I say. When they don't understand that word ain't coming from me. That's the word that's coming from the niggas paying the bills. But you always want to put shit on me. When niggas is talking about that niggas is at their ceiling, that ain't always me. It may be a 2-1 situation. But I'm still trying to keep niggas books booked. So don't shit on my name about a motherfucking thing. If it's best to sit your ass down, it's best to sit you down. To protect your fucking stock. And I don't care how nobody feel about it. Because why these niggas acting like they love you today? They talking about your ass yesterday. They talking about how you non-factors beforehand. But y'all want to sit here and let niggas divide and conquer your stupid asses. That's fine. I've been talking to you niggas about pedigree since I started this shit. Until this shit don't go your way, y'all get mad. It's just interesting. We just had a great fucking event regardless of what any hater got to say. Niggas had niggas up, up one. And everybody got home safe. And sound. And this the shit we dealing with. Says a whole fucking lot. So for the bloggers, when they get to talking their shit, they band their little team together on the wing hate. Understand one fucking thing. There was no security issue from where I'm to, from where I'm hearing. And even if there were, niggas should have went and told the people that were on staff in the fucking building. At this juncture, there may not be a lot of bricks with us anymore. That was that's their decision. That is their fucking decision. But we still got the intake. We still got a couple of more people. We will continue to do what we do. But this hate train for we ain't gonna stop. Because all I know is that a nigga been trying to break in my motherfucking back trying to get these, keep these niggas afloat. Motherfuckers talking about financial obligations that they fulfilled. I want to know where your ticket sales and your VOD sales are. Like I said, we run a business here. Ain't nobody checking for a lot of you niggas. And I'm sorry. I'm trying. You think you can do it somewhere else? Do that. By all means. But we gonna keep it pushing. And that's really all I gotta say about it. Anybody else can say what the fuck they wanna say. It don't matter to me. But what we not gonna do is hate on my fucking name because of some shit that you was upset about. Because this don't seem like it's the issue. All I know is niggas talking about niggas ain't having backs. My ass said to still ten toes down. To the point where niggas had to grab my ass and throw me in the fucking car. I can barely talk. But, I, but I'm sitting here letting these niggas know they not fit to put hands on this nigga. The fuck out of here. Keep my fucking name out. All you poo coochie munching motherfucking mouths. Dead ass. Oh, Lord. Stop talking about me. Because I'm in my own little bubble trying to help the people that I'm trying to help. And I can't help when a motherfucker get mad about some shit that I can't control. Because everybody got wand in that motherfucker. Everybody. What happened after that? Somebody should have said something. So blame your goddamn selves for not saying nothing. I'm just saying if it did, well, they still trying to pretend this story that it did happen. I'm just being rhetorical. God damn. I'm being coached right now. But anyway, like I said, we gonna stop this shit. Keep my fucking name out your mouth because Wayne didn't do shit. Not that. Yeah, y'all ain't got this one. 
Uh, and ARP is watching. So yeah, let me run it back. Supposedly, there was a pretend gun in the building that was supposed to be uh, up on Zay. Uh, the people who supposedly were the issue did not never have a gun in the building. And the person who was supposed to be the person trying to keep the gun in clothes said that he never had to do that with anybody. He was just trying to keep a nigga off a nigga ass is what he was trying to do. Pause if necessary. I'm going to drop Mike right now. Y'all can continue to talk about this bullshit. Miami in 30 fucking days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no freaky. Yeah, but we yeah. read him on the team. I have folks okay. wait any motherfucking way. Answer, answer my question. Miami in three days. Talking. That's all I need. I'm, I'm doing my like push-ups. Like you need to Don't nobody want no motherfucking smoke. But when we decide to try to take somebody else's mommy away, y'all better know what the fuck you doing. Everybody's standing on that bullshit. Now y'all got me on bullshit. Now y'all really got me on bullshit. And I don't give a fuck no more. Y'all gonna stop threatening me like because I'm a girl, like I ain't man. Listen, yeah, all right. Well, goddamn, she's just a girl. Mm -hmm. No, that's a woman. That's a female. That's a woman. Right. She just calls herself a girl, bro. <laughs> I hate stuff, bro. Just called herself a girl, bro. What she said. y'all here? Um, Appreciate I you for that win. Thirty days, nigga. You heard it, nigga. Miami in thirty days, nigga. Miami. That ain't it either. It's a lot of uh, shit on the table. We bro. in this motherfucker. Oh, Anybody want to go to the beach? Miami in thirty days. Hey, Reek, we yeah, here, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah, yeah, day. Day. We in that motherfucking so beach chilling. Hey, Reek. All the bloggers, pull up. Hey, hey, all Reek. the bloggers that's yeah. in here right now, pull up, bro. Hey, Reek. All the game, bloggers, pull up. Shout out to the trappers. We are my back, back lit. It's we out of here, out of here. Any man battle rap trapper, we definitely got the streets. D out again. Be out of internet. Put it on your you 